Hey guys, welcome back to Fortune. Oh great, these guys are back. Oh, I can welcome them back as well. In the last part, I got a little bit over emotional about some uh, design choices this game has made. I, mean, I don't like to talk bad about stuff, really, but. I mean, there's a difference between saying something's bad and saying that not everything about it is good. Right? Right. I guess that's right. Now, there are some people who don't take criticism well at all, but... I feel like if you're gonna be a game designer, you probably have to be willing to you know, take it some... Oh, that's what is great for those guys. You have to be willing to, you know, ready to take some criticism. Well, pretty much anything you do that puts your name out there, you have to be ready, ready to take a bit of criticism and jump off a cliff. Those were two completely unrelated statements. Don't don't jump off a cliff just because somebody criticizes you or anything. Man, I thought I talked more in that last episode than pretty much every other episode put together. Can't decide if I want to talk more or less in the show, to be honest. Because on the one hand, I want to let the games be able to speak for themselves, so to speak. You don't always need somebody running your mouth, running their mouth, <laughs> running your mouth. To, you know, just be background noise. If the game weren't good enough to keep you occupied on its own, then it's probably not a great game. Honestly, it's enough to keep me occupied rather than doing this and talking. It's a lot harder to talk while playing, I've got to admit. I got when I first started, I was thinking how hard could it possibly be, and uh, it's more than you would think. Now, part of that's just because I'm not very good at talking to begin with, but that aside. Jerk. That chicken leg thing is still just so wrong, especially since they kind of evolve into naked lady people things as they're dying. And the game's frozen. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. I guess I'm gonna carve my way up this tower. I think the division kind of needs to be something along the lines of rambling when you're doing stuff. It's kind of boring and repetitive, like running back to Barna's for the 15th time. Letting it go. But, you know, letting the game show its own strengths when you're doing new stuff, going to new places. I mean, that's just my opinion. I'm sure lots of different channels have lots of... 
different ways of doing things. Oh, isn't this lovely? Mana? I've got to admit, I really, really hate when the enemy doesn't have to deal with the same resources as you. So you have to fight like a billion of them to, you know, three of you. No, that's definitely not my biggest gripe about anything in games ever. You are so. Every time I think this game has given me the most annoying enemy ever, it manages to find something else to throw at me. The heck is my chocolate? Do again, spirit. Uh, that's Sana. Does it mean Gabba? Or maybe it's just a chemical I don't know off the top of my head. Oh, this is getting really bad really fast. Oh, are we done? Okay. This is where I came from. The enemies were just different for, I guess, because I came through that door. So there's nothing over there, nothing up here, and nothing through the doors. I have a lot of money. I need to buy a new weapon. Why didn't I stop in Chartreux and do- ah, hello. 
Ooh, what are you? You two wait down here. I want to go kill that thing. Yeah, pretty sure this, uh, Lechimagiri is the best s spell. I uh, don't really know what you'd... Ability! That's a good word for it. Pretty sure it's the best ability ever. Wait, what? Even stat-boosting items are affected to the whole quick deal time delay thing? Interesting. Much easier when I have my friends with me. Still, I had to kill one by myself. Because of reasons. Right then. Or left them. Ah, great. I have no idea which is the correct way to go. Come on, we're going this way. a lot. Elevator? Interesting. Back to the left. I guess I was right the first time. Or pink slime. I was talking earlier about it's not really fair when the computer don't have to manage the same resources as you. I was talking more about uh, you know how you get overwhelmed by the waves of enemies that don't have to worry about saving mana for the next fight. Which, you know, that's part of the fun of the game. Having to worry about that sort of thing. It kind of builds a sense of drama and Get up. It builds a sense of drama, and oh, that was cool. Can't do it again. Start this sentence for the third time. It builds a sense of drama, really emphasizes how much tougher you are than all the random enemies you're fighting. And I remember there's a one game in, well, in a series in particular, where it's not that the enemy can attack without, you know, with reckless abandon using their resources. They literally aren't using the same resources as you. I'm talking about the old Shin Megami Tensei games, where the enemy... They did actually have mana. 
at least in all the games I played, they did have to worry about mana, so you could drain them of their mana, silence them, whatever, they wouldn't be able to cast spells at you. Oh, I need to fix that problem. Why is there a hint of spice on the thing I got from murdering somebody? Did they just walk around with spice on themselves? But where things were different, where the enemies could cast physical attack spell things without having to pay HP. Because in those old games, you'd pay MP for spells and you'd pay HP for physical attack ability things. You would have to pay like upwards of 25% health to cast some of your physical spells. Peter was not bound by that limitation. They did not pay any health. Which was... Hmm? Is that like a glitch, or...? Huh. Looks like I'm supposed to go down there, but I don't... Well, I'm lost again. Nope, nope, no I'm not. Instincts are right. And I'd actually finished my state curve I thought from earlier, so I don't know why I was continuing to make it sound like I had more to say. I didn't. It's kind of a bad habit of mine, but I have a hard time actually ending a statement. Besides just trailing off, which is what I normally do. Yeah, like what I did just there. Just stopping talking. Then again, conversation isn't like a, an essay or a PowerPoint presentation where you're supposed to have a definitive conclusion that this is the end. And that's enough of that. Left or right? Get up! Oh, come on! Stop falling asleep! I get it, everything is terrible. Can we knock it off with the status effects for three seconds? Down, sleep, down, sleep, down, sleep, Jesus Christ. Yeah. 
These mages are so obnoxious! And it's not so bad when I can actually focus on them, but when there is this pink bull everywhere! I can't even jump for pink slime! Jesus Christ! there. This is ridiculous. Just you and me now. <sighs> you do want to step in? in the next one.